New on News 5 at 4, Art on the Streets is back, and this year its 23rd annual exhibition has deposited a number of works of art around downtown Colorado Springs. News 5's John McMichael gives us a closer look at a mural that was created as a live dance performance by a Colorado couple. How many brushes? I used one brush for this entire painting. One brush, seven colors, dozens of hours, and a merging of ways. What is all of this to you? So the name of this mural is Body of Work, and it's a collaboration between Marcus and I. One a painter and muralist, the other a dancer and choreographer. And it's really special because I got to do it with my life partner. There's always this kind of dream of being able to be in love with somebody and make art with them. So that's a beautiful thing, we collaborate in life and on art. <laughs> Okay, it's been like over a year. Can I can I hear that a little louder? Who's ready? All a part of the 23rd annual Art on the Streets, which received 168 applications to come here. And that's 168 artists from around the world vying for 12 spots. Lovely people standing before you, ready to create something beautiful on this wall. Utilizing shadows, dancers, and lights, this work started Live. It's a lot of finding those moments in order to bring out their silhouettes and then of course freezing at the right time so Marcus can get those drawings in. All born from a spark of creativity, this work truly a product of the past year. The funny thing happens when you uh, put artists together in an apartment and tell them to quarantine, they literally start climbing the walls and that's exactly what happened with Marcus and Katie, except she was dancing in front of the walls and Marcus was running around behind her, painting her silhouette as it was cast on the wall. Originally intended as a solo act, the process was changed and informed by a back injury, forcing Katie to call for help, which was answered. A lot of the narrative that went into this piece was about what it feels like to be vulnerable, what it feels like to fall in your life and then have support of other people. From motion to stillness, it's a narrative of support and humanity. It was created with bodies actually touching each other, which is novel, as we all know now, and with an audience viewing that experience. So it was created out of connection. And connection, a shared experience, is what these artists hope to share with the Springs. It is visually about humans moving through life, and it was that through its creation process as well. Watching out for you, Colorado Springs, John McMichael, News 5.